If you're the type of person that likes violating 15 articles in the Geneva Convention, Crossout is definitely the game for you. Either way, welcome back everybody. Today we're actually going to do a small update talking about the new major update for Crossout, but this is only just the part two of it. We already talked about the part one, go ahead and watch that. This is just going to be an addendum to that. But we have a brand new auto cannon here that's essentially going to be the special version of the already existing jewel. Now, if you don't know what the jewel is, it's essentially a rapid firing auto cannon that the perk on the epic version is that I believe it increases the cooldown or the uh, how many shots that you can fire based on your speed. So the faster that you're going, the more that you can shoot. I wonder if the special version of jewel then is able to actually carry on that tradition, that soul, that passion. Hopefully, we'll see. But definitely nice seeing some actual special variations of weapons coming out, especially considering that the jewel, I believe, is something that has historically been quite expensive. So having a nice cheaper alternative to it is always going to be nice. But considering that a lot of people probably have the all already version of the world, which is sort of like a rapid firing version of the auto cannon, we'll have to see which one battles it out for relevance. But I feel like a lot of people like the world better just because it has better building options, but a bit more of a chunky boy. Chunky boy. Next, we have a brand new map for the arena mode here. Let's actually take a look at it. It does look pretty jazzy from what I can see. It reminds me a lot of the... of a very Russian architecture here. Almost looks like Chernobyl again with the kind of distant fairy wheel or what do you even call those? Now, now I'm actually just drawing a huge blank on what are these things are actually called. I want to say merry round, but that's the wrong thing. That's the one that spins on the ground. Ferris wheel. There it is. That's what I'm thinking. Ferris wheel. I don't know why I was having a hard time thinking about that. But yeah, you got these nice little aesthetics here. Wrought iron, rusting everywhere. It looks pretty jazzy. It looks pretty industrial, I gotta say. Distant view here as well. Not too bad. Oh, this is a part of the arena mode uh, system that they're going to be introducing that was mentioned in the last patch. And it's essentially a 3v3 mode that uh, hells in special arenas. You can earn a bunch of different rewards for completing objectives. You can do it with a solo or you can do it with a group. So kind of interesting little mode. Plus there will actually be a ranked competitive version of it as well. So it's a nice little introduction of competitive back into Crossout. I know they have the typical, what was it, the 4v4 man that everyone's used to that uh, you can only do in guilds. But now instead of Clan Wars, you now have this nice little basic option that anyone can really get into. I doubt they'll be able to get uh, things like Uranium from it, but some type of resource they can get from it collectively, that would be kind of nice. Plus the fact that you can get a bunch of cosmetics associated with it. And on top of a resource, my guess is it'll probably be Scrap. It should probably be a pretty decent mode for a lot of people. Next, we got a couple of cosmetic items here. A CK for the Spark 3 Tesla emitter. This is the legendary version of the like electric Tesla cannon, Tesla coil thing. And actually, it does look pretty jazzy here. As we saw earlier, it does look quite nice and flat here. I love the nice ultra sleek profile with the nice angled bits of kind of, I guess, sheet metal or iron, which kind of raises questions. I'm assuming this thing is probably grounded. The fact that the entire thing is made out of metal seems a bit questionable. It seems like it would just arc back to itself and melt immediately, but what do I know? <laughs> it's not like metals are conductive, but it does look quite jazzy though. Next, we also have the retractable headlights here, which honestly do look pretty snazzy. You can see that they have a little animation when you retract them up. So my guess is whatever key you use to turn on the lights, which for me is L, it actually will just pop up and straight up stay there. So it kind of reminds me a lot of like, what was it, this 80s or 90s cars? I had those flip up headlights that everyone likes spamming about. It's like, oh cool, you can wave to other cars and have them all, it's so cool. So you own vehicles, and they add nice little accessories on it to make it a bit more of a cross out vibe to it with the pieces of what looks like bolts and like blades sticking out of it that are kind of shot well into it. Looks very nice. As long as Hard Gem can actually package in some like decent base changes to the game itself, if they can implement some brand new modes like the arena mode, great thing to do. But can they actually implement changes to their regular base PvP and to the regular base PvE? Implement new maps, new modifiers to it, something that actually changes that up. I feel like that'll help out a lot too, because I feel like what a lot of fatigue coming through this game right now is just the base game itself has not been worked on for quite a long time. So if they can work on that, I feel like they would have a really substantial update here with the battle pass and the actual base game itself all getting improvements. Especially considering if they can stop sunsetting content too, that'll really help with preventing fatigue of this game as well. But that's just kind of my two cents. What do you guys think? But that is pretty much everything here so far. So let me know what you guys think about this brand new part down below. You guys are excited for the new parts, yay or nay. Let me know what you guys think about for the new arena season, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.